Now to turn number four. See some cars. Joey Legato gets into Kyle Busch. Tyler Reddick up and over the wall. Oh my gosh, as the caution is going to come out. Tyler Reddick and Kyle Busch in a vicious crash to start off today's race. So we'll check a look at the replay here. Joe Legato got into Kyle Busch and just turned him around into Tyler Reddick. Reddick slides over the pit wall in a crazy crash that I don't think I've ever seen at a one mile oval. As you can see, as they come into frame here, Legato taps Bush. Bush goes around, and Reddick has nowhere to go. Just gets involved in this crash. Just an innocent bystander. What a horrible crash to start off the race. You can see Tyler Reddick's getting towed away. As you can see, Kyle Bush is involved. These are two guys up in the top in points, so this is going to be very surprising to see how the points are going to look after today's race. Remember, Bush is locked into the playoffs already. Trace Jr. leading, both walls closed. All car around, Eric Jones smashing the inside wall. Caution will come out for Eric Jones' fifth season in the Three Cup Series, and he's going to end this very historic event in a very unfashionable fashionable way. Let's take a look what happened. Eric Jones looks like he came up the hill. Senhouse hit him in the back rear end. And whoa, Carson Husevar. I'm going to give a hundred on that wreck avoidance. That was insane. Take a look at him. Just comes right in front of his nose. But then Eric Jones' day comes to a smashing halt as he hit the inside wall. Locked the brakes up, but just couldn't do anything about it. It's fun. Just disappointing. He had a really good run last week, hoping to get more. I mean, he could be a playoff team. He literally made the Final Four in the first season. Just nothing but downhill ever since that, His though. first lap of the day. Oh, and a big incident. Danica Patrick sliding on the side as the car comes to rest on all four. Caution's out. Lap number five. First caution of the day. And how in the world did that happen? We'll take a look at the replay. Looks like Danica Patrick came down on Bobby Labonte and slides up into the outside wall. Slides through turn one on the right side of the car. And then comes to rest on the back stretch. Back on all four wheels here. But uh, not clear. Danica Patrick 36th, Bobby Lamani 37th. Their races will end early here at the halfway point at Pocono. So the track is all cleaned up. The 10 and the 32 have been taken to the garage area. That means we're ready for a restart. <laughs> Here they come out of turn number two, because it must be Spin Chase Elliott. He's upside down, flipping down the back straightaway. Let's take a look at the replay here. And as you see, Brad Keselowski goes to the outside of Chase Elliott, but then turns left, and Elliott gets sent into the air. Airborne goes over once, comes to rest on all four wheels. to his inside. Oh, he's going to spin into turn number one. Keselowski backs it into the outside, retaining all over, back under the yellow flag. Oh, a big, big hit there to the back end of the number six car. Great to see the back end of that car actually crush in and not just bounce off the wall. As you can see right there, the six car, he just got way too far to the inside of the 99 and couldn't stick it. So he just started leaning on that left side door of the 99 and slams into the wall. And like I said, good thing that that tail end of the car crushed and didn't uh, you know stay you know sturdy that could have been a really bad injury there for the six car uh, otherwise but um, yeah he will uh, crab walk that car back to the pit lane but I think he's definitely done for the day and it looks like Suarez